Okay, in this presentation, this is my sixth uh, mini tab uh, presentation. What we're going to do here is we're going to look at how to create a histogram. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, open up a data set called GE, capital G, capital E. Okay, and I'm going to click OK on that. Okay, just press all the buttons there and so on. Now, essentially what I want to do here is create a histogram. I'm just going to pick one of the numeric variables here. I'm going to bring this up also. Uh, I'm going to sort of just bring this data set up into the more so it's front and center. Essentially, uh, what I've done so far actually is I've shown how to visualize categorical variables. So in this case, what I'm going to do is uh, show how to visualize numeric variables. Okay, so here we have some variables. I'm going to just stick with high. Okay, high for this particular presentation. So I want to, want to just actually sort of rough breakdown of how this data is distributed, this particular variable, how uh, how varied it is. Okay. Now, as opposed to the other very uh, presentations where I was using data to do cats, dogs, and ponies, which is categorical, this is numeric. So I use a different type of statistic here. So what I'm going to, or a different type of graph. Now in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two graphs. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is a histogram, and if I have time, I'll do a box plot. But if not, I'll do the next presentation will be a box plot. So click on that. Click on histogram. Okay, and I'm going to go with a very um, simple histogram for to start off with. Click OK. Now I'm just using the high data set. So I'm going to select that. You can try it out with a few more later on. And let's go here. Scale. Nothing I'm going to do there that's interesting yet. Okay. Labels. Okay. Just a sort of nice histogram or something like that. A little label. You can try it adding in a few more things there as well. Okay. Data labels. Um, nothing really I'm going to sort of need here just yet. Although it's good to sort of keep an eye on these buttons. Uh, data view. Uh, bars, okay, I, I think that's actually uh, okay so far. Distribution, no, we're not going to fit a distribution just yet. I'm going to, that's a bit something a bit more advanced, uh, so I don't need that just yet. Um, multiple graphs, data options, let's have a look here at data options. Yeah, nothing I really need to sort of say just right now. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of click on that. So essentially what I've just done there really is just added in labels and just add in a title so click on that click OK our histogram should come up there we go that's a histogram of um, of the data so it's a sort of very unusual sort of spread it seems to say that a lot of occurrences are a lot of values around 36 seem to occur uh, also 20 and 16 and uh, conversely values in the region of 24 to 28 are very unusual so the height um, of the plot the histogram sort of represents the sort of the rough roughly how um, like are the, the sort of prevalence or frequency of uh, an occurrence in that range of values so let's just actually sort of close this down for a second. Okay. And that is actually really, that's pretty much everything we have to say. A histogram. Okay. And um, yeah. So I think actually uh, what I might do now is actually just have a quick look at a box plot. So something similar also for numeric variables. Okay. A box plot. This is a sort of would make a nice complement to a histogram. Together, they're actually both quite powerful. Click on that. Hi. Select that. Uh, labels. You can just add in a title there. Scale. Yeah, nothing I really need there yet. And uh, so on. What I might do actually is here just have a quick look at this reference line. Uh, Show reference lines at value y. No, I don't, I don't need that yet. It's just a sort of handy to sort of click on these buttons and have a think about what to do. So I'm just going to click OK in that, and this will should bring up a very simple 
box plot for me. You might notice actually, I'm not actually sort of going into what, uh, with. I'm just sort of showing how we get box plots here, but if you actually just click on that, uh, a little icon comes up, it actually just tells you the distribution. So it's seemingly, if you're familiar with this, great, Q1 is 17.9, the median is 22.69, Q3 is 36.32, the interquartile range, or IQR, is 18.42 that's the difference between q1 and q3 and the whiskers seem to be at 11.35 to 42.15 and there's 93 cases that's exactly what that means do you know what let's actually just go back to our histogram there let's just bring up our histogram again just do it very quickly and what we might do is just sort of have a quick read of the information we gather from that click ok just click all the options we had so far see what happens here it just actually tells you um, the bins, uh, the bin width. So I'm just going to click down here, and it just tells me, um, I'm just going to click on one of these little columns here, and it just actually tells me how many um, values are in, in there. But it also actually gives me some information about, uh, it says, says there are 25 to 27. So basically if a value is between 25 and 27, um, it will go in this bin so to speak and this bin has one value click on this one over here it's 29 to 31 there seems to be three values between 29 and 31 click over here there seems to be 16 values between 35 and 37 okay so um yeah that's it that's our histograms and our box plots done